Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today's part 4 on how to make the Skype Java bot. And this is probably going to be the last video I make on it, just because I'm sort of realised there's too many Skype related videos on my channel now. Um, so I feel like I want to move away from it a little bit. So if you've got any suggestions for things non Skype related that you want to see, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to get it done for you. Um, but anyway, let's get started with what I've got here. Now, it's not really a um, like a set topic. I'm just going to cover a few different things uh, which um, will be useful to you. If there's anything else that you do need to know, there's always the documentation. Uh, everything is there, you just need to put it in yourself and it isn't really that hard. Um, so one of the things I'm going to show you is how to put the, put the bot sort of on a pause mode. Um, so let's say you want to have the program open but you don't want it to reply. Um, so what we're going to do is in the bot info class, I beforehand I already made it in mine, but we're going to type public static, oops, public static boolean, and we're going to call it is working. And by default we want the bot to work, so we'll set it to true. So we're going to save that file. Um, so what we're going to do from here is in our user chat, when uh, in our message received event what we're going to do is each time we receive a message we're going to check if the bot is in working mode um, so it's literally a basic if statement and we'll just say if bot info uh, this one this is my example bot info class uh, it's called one I'm just going to use my normal class we can say dot is working and if that is equal to true then we can just go ahead and copy all the code that we usually have uh, it should be there and just paste it in as usual and then uh, if it's not working you can maybe send them a message saying the bot is busy right now but I'm just going to comment it out saying bot is busy just so you know that right there bot is busy and that is one way to make sure that the bot won't reply but what I'm going to show you now is how to create a command which will enable you to toggle this with uh, through Skype itself. So we'll go into our uh, command section and we'll make a new command here. Uh, it'll just be a single one. We'll say else if cmd dot equals. Let's say we'll call it pause, and we'll make it so we can toggle. Just but let's say we can just type pause once and it will pause it, we'll type pause again it will unpause it so what we can do is we can just have a little check saying if bot info dot is working if it's equal to true then uh, what's happened here if it's equal to true then we want to set it to false is equal to false and then else we're assuming it's equal to false so we'll set it to true just like that and that will be a toggle command for us uh, but the next thing is now anyone unless you should unless you put it on your help page if someone found this command they could probably troll you a little bit with it so we only want to let the owner or certain people be able to use this command um, so that leads me on to my next thing let's just remove this warning that we have I'm going to show you how to get the sender's username. Now, because mainly the bots get used within peer-to-peer -peer chat, uh, you can't actually get the username properly in there. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean by that. We'll make a new string and we'll call it sender, and that's going to be equal to e dot get message dot get sender, and then we're going to get their ID. And you can see here we've got the display name as well, but if you use that, it won't actually work. And ID's a little different. It will show you their actual handle, um, but it also is attached to like a, a number and a colon. Um, I would I would put it to the uh, console and show you, but um, sort of running out of time here, so we'll, I'll just show you what I mean. So we've got this string, and we've got the ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to split here, and we're going to split at the colon I was talking about, and we're just going to take the right side of it and that will leave us with their handle so now what we can say is once we got their handle we can check when a command is issued we can just say if 
sender dot equals and we can write here if it's equal to my name true from skype bot which will be the admin then we want to go ahead and let the command do whatever it has to do and then we'll say here else we could send a message to the chat um, in fact yeah let's go ahead and do it message dot send message e dot get chat and we'll just send um, this is uh, an admin command something like that and then you could put like an or statement here and add multiple usernames or you could uh, have an array in your bot info uh, depending who can do it so that's how you can make uh, admin commands and if you're if you sort of got the knowledge you can turn this into like a premium system where people can pay to get on your bot and use special commands and stuff so that's it for that what that will do is enable you to uh, put the bot in a pause mode and unpause it uh, through a command and it will only work if you're like an admin or something like that uh, so that's it for that now the next thing I'm going to show you is something that someone suggested and it is um, like an auto adder so when you get a request it will automatically accept them um, so we we could put it inside message where we've got our other handlers or not message uh, the user chat where we have the listener uh, for the on chat uh, event but because it's all laid out nice and neat I'm gonna give it its own class and we'll just call it auto add now inside here just like before we need to write this implements uh, listener and then inside here we can say at event handler like so uh, we can import the listener and then we'll say public uh, void and we'll call it on add like that and then the there's three different events now I'm going to use all three of them because one, sometimes one might not work and sometimes another will it's a bit weird um, but if I just use all three and one of them will work either way so we might as well just put all three in there so, um, for some reason this API has three events for it. I'm not sure why, um, but we'll just go ahead and use them. Now, the first one is contact um, request event, I'm sure. We'll put that as E, and let's just see if we're right on that one. Yeah, that one's right. And then if you get that, you can just, uh, we might need to import this as well. Uh, we'll say E dot get request dot accept. And we can say e dot get request, oops, get request um, dot get sender dot authorize, and we're basically doing multiple ways just to be sure it is going to work. Um, we'll surround that in the try catch. Uh, we'll just chuck that one in there with it as well, like so, and then we'll come outside of this. Um, void and we'll create the uh, next one public void on we'll call it on add but with three d's and the next one is contact received event like that and let's see if i got that one right and yes and pretty much for here we can say e dot get sender and stuff as well uh, and we can actually get the chat here and you can do dot send message as well but the thing is it doesn't send them a message so I was I was using this more for a welcome message um, for me personally it didn't work but I'm gonna chuck it in here you can say welcome to my bot or something like that and that would be for that event uh, I guess you got to surround that as well just like that and then the last one public void uh, on add this time with four D's and the next one is just called contact request I believe uh, yes it is and pretty much the same as the other one e dot get request or not even get requests we'll get the sender and then we'll just authorize them like that and then we'll surround that one as well and just to be sure, I want to have another look through here. What else we have? We've got the get message. And I guess that's 
when people add you and then they send like the little message you can customize a message I guess that's how you could get that one if you really wanted to and then for this one we got e dot we can get the sender again and just say authorize if it's there no nope. apparently it's not part of that one so what have we got here uh, this is how you get their ID and stuff um, so I guess I showed you how you could um, get the ID before maybe you want to make a blacklist to not add certain people uh, I guess like the imagination helps you out here and you can make whatever you wish uh, but that is it for that that would be all the also add class but before I forget um, every time you add like a new class which acts as a listener you come into your logic file and if you remember when we first started we registered the user chat listener um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to copy that and then we're going to register a new one called auto add and then that will register our new listener which will auto accept contacts for us and maybe this will work for you just let me know because personally it didn't so if that works for you just leave a comment or something because I personally do want to know if that does work um, so I guess that's it for this video I should cover the basic couple of things that I hope were uh, a bit of an improvement to your bot um, so if there was please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time